Baroque period is one of the most interesting and sophisticated epochs in art. It spans time between the end of 16th until the beginning of the 18th century and is represented by many illustrious names. Shakespeare and Milton, Cervantes and Lope de Vega, Carnel, Racine and Moliere, and artists Caravaggio, Bernini, Poussin, Velasquez, Rubens, Rembrandt, and their contemporaries from the world of the music, Monteverdi and Frescobaldi, Lully, Rameau, Couperin, Schutz and Purcell, Bach and Handel. Music has received a wonderful legacy from the Renaissance, yet not as rich as that of art of sculpture. Music had to overcome and achieve much in involving secular music genres. With new themes and particular qualities of formation, this was the time of relentless creative search new ideas in composition and unpredictable discoveries. High spiritual tension which characterizes this epoch has in one way or another found outlet in all fields of creative art. These are contradictions between emerging modern scientific thought and militant religion, which maintained outdated ideas about creation, nature, and life process. 17th century art has become more dramatic and expressive as a whole more personal than during Renaissance. New images demanded new means of expression with different principles of musical narration. Polyphony, which dominated Renaissance music, began to give way to homophony from Greek homos, one, and phon, sound, voice. Whereas in polyphony all voices are equal, in many voiced homophony there is one primary voice with distinct main melody and the rest serve as an accompaniment. Accompaniment is usually a system of chords, harmonies, and this is why this new style of music is called homophonic harmonic or melody dominated homophony. Concepts of church music have also changed. Now composers try not so much to detach the humans from their earthly suffering, but rather more to reveal complexity of their inner experiences. There appeared works written on religious texts or subjects but not for required church performance. Such work are called spiritual, having a wider definition than church music. The main spiritual genres of 17th and early 18th century were cantatas and oratorios. Secular music importance has grown. It was performed at courts aristocratic salons, public theatres. New genre was music appeared, opera. Instrumental music also created new genres, especially instrumental concertos. Violin, harpsichord, organ gradually became used as solo instruments. Music composed for these instruments gave occasion for not only composer, but also for performer to demonstrate their talents. At the end 
of the 16th century in Italy, the artistic style of Baroque was formed. From Italian, Barocco, strange, fanciful. This is a style of inherent expressiveness, dramatism, entertainment, combining of different types of art. These traits were the best expressed in opera, which appeared at the turn of the 17th century. One composition combined music, poetry, dramaturgy, and theater art. At first, opera had a different name, drama for music, drama per musica. The term opera composition in Italian appeared only in the middle of the 18th century. Idea of drama for music was born in Florence in the artistic group Florentine Camerata. Their meetings were held in chamber. Camera means room in Italian, home surroundings. From 1579 to 1592, enlightened lovers of music, poets, scientists, and professional musicians assembled in the house of court count Giovanni de Bardi. Among them were singers and composers, Giulio Caccini and Jacopo Peri, and theorist and composer Vincenzo Galilei, as a father of the astronomer Galileo Galilei. Members of Florentine Camerata were concerned with developing of art of music. Their idea of combination of words and music they found in the theater of antiquity. The verses were recited in a singing voice. Each word and each syllable were clearly articulated. In this way, Florentine Camerata arrived at the idea of solo singing accompanied by the instrument. Monodi from Greek monas, one and odd means song. New style was called recitative from Italian recitare, declamation. Music followed the words and singing was a monotone declamation. Musical intonations were not expressive. The main accent was not conveying feelings, but unclear articulation of the words. Early Florentine operas were composed on subject from ancient mythology. First surviving compositions in this new genre are the two operas with the same title of Eurydice by Caccini and Perry. On the subject of the myth of Orpheus, singing was accompanied by the instrumental ensemble comprising cymbalo, it's Italian harpsichord, lyre and lute. Thank you. 
opera or drama per musica at that time began to quickly develop largely as a courtly music, nobility patronized arts, not only out of love of beauty, but also as a necessary attribute of wealth and power. In big Italian city, Rome, Florence, Venice, Naples, there appeared their own school of opera. In his compositions, Claudio Monteverdi has combined the best qualities of different schools, attention to poetic word from Florence, serious spiritual undertone from Rome, monumental, monumentality uh, from Venice. <clears throat> Having studied works of Perry and Caccini, Monteverdi created his own compositions already in his first operas, Orpheus and Ariadne, he managed to convey deep and passionate feelings and create tense, dramatic action. Monteverdi composed many operas, but to this day only three have survived. Orpheus, the return of Ulysses to his homeland, of the Homer Odyssey and the coronation of Popea. Monteverdi's compositions harmoniously combine music and text. <clears throat> Monologues, dialogues, and choir episodes flow smoothly into each other. Composer assigned important role to the orchestra. For example, in Orpheus, he uses almost all of the musical instruments of that time. Orchestral music doesn't simply accompany the singing, but itself tells the story of events on stage and experiences of characters. In Orpheus, for the first time, there appears an overture from Latin apertura, opening and instrumental introduction to a large musical composition. Monteverdi's operas have laid the foundation of Venetian opera school.
Monteverdi had also composed sacred music, religious and secular madrigals. He became the first composer to combine polyphonic and homophone styles in his compositions, continuing traditions of the Renaissance. By the beginning of the 18th century, opera school was established in Naples. Its main feature increased attention to singing, and it is here the vocal style del canto, from Italian beautiful singing, was born. Del canto is characterized by beauty of sound, melody, and technical perfection. In high register, the singing is light and clear timbered. In low, velvety softness and richness. Performer had to render many nuances of voice timbre and masterly convey many ornamentations in the melody. Evenness of the voice sound and inaudible breathing was a particular requirement.
At the same time, there appeared such opera genres as opera seria, from Italian serious opera, and opera buffa, Italian comical opera. Opera seria was established in works of Alessandro Scarlatti, founder and the most prominent representative of Naples opera school. For opera seria, composers usually choose mythological or historical subject. It opened with an overture and consisted of complete acts, arias, rec uh, recitatives, and choirs. There were several types of arias, heroic and pathetical, mournful, for each character with its own set of expressive means. Recitative small sized fragments were used to advance dramatic narration and were of two types, seco, dry, fast speed with scant chords by the harpsichord and uh, accompaniato, expressive declamation with orchestra. Each character was performed by a voice type, romantic hero by soprano or tenor, noble father or a villain by bass or baritone, fatal heroine contralto. Later on, again in the Naples school, opera buffa appeared. The first classic example of such opera is The Maid Turned Mistress by Giovanni Battista Pergalesi. While arias were at the forefront of opera seria, opera buffa had spoken dialogues alternating with vocal ensembles. Characters in opera buffa are different. Usually these are common people, servants or peasants. Story was based on amusing intrigues, disguises, servants fooling their asinine rich masters. Music was 
required to be light and elegant action, to be fast moving. Opera buffa was strongly influenced by Italian playwright, creator of the national comedy, Carlo Goldoni, the most clever and lovely compositions of this genre were written by, by Neapolitan composers, Nicola Piccini, Giovanni Paisiello, and Domenico Cimarosa.
Italian composers of the 17th century have accomplished much in instrumental genres as well. Prominent representative of organ music was organist and composer Girolamo Frescobaldi. He created a new style in church music and his organ works are detailed compositions of improvisational fantastical kind. Violent music has also blossomed at this time. In Italy, there developed a tradition of violent making. Hereditary masters of Amati, Guarneri, Stradivari families of Cremona have invented secret method, methods of making violence and instruments by these masters have surprisingly beautiful warm sound resembling human voice. Founder of Roman violin school, Arcangela Carelli was one of the creators of Concerto Grosso. 
genre from Italian big concert. Concerta is usually performed by a solo instrument or a group of instruments and the orchestra. Concerta Grosso was built on donating solo episodes and orchestra, which in the 17th century was chamber one with mostly string instruments. Corelli, by the most part, used violin or cello as solo. His concertos comprised the varying number of differently styled parts. <laughs> One of the distinguished masters of violin music was Antonio Vivaldi. He gained famous virtuoso violinist. His contemporaries were drawn to his dramatic, full of unexpected contrast style of play. Continuing Corelli's tradition, Vivaldi worked in concerto grosso genre, seeking bright and unusual sound. 
he mixed timbres of different instruments, often incorporating dissonant, disharmonic sounds in his music. Just rare instruments as solo, such as bassoon and mandolin, which were considered street instruments. Vivaldi's concertos consisted of three parts. The first and the third are in quick tempo, the middle one in slow. Many Vivaldi's concertos have a program, a title of literary dedication. For example, first four concertos, the seasons. One of the early examples of such orchestral cycle. Four concertos of this cycle, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, colorfully depict sense of nature. Vivaldi managed to convey the song of birds in the first part of the spring, thunderstorm in the third part of the summer, rain in the second part of the winter. Vivaldi concertos became an epitome of Baroque style instrumental music. Thank you. 